everyone, my name is Alei from Alei Gaming and today I want to talk to you about modding problems and how to fix those. So you are a modder, you have some mods installed, but you're facing problems. You get crashes to desktops or CTs or something else and you want to fix this. Here are a few things that you might want to check out and might help your game to run smoothly and more stable and can help you figure out which mod is causing your problem. So. In order to know what's going on, I would highly recommend you use Mod Organizer again. I've been using Mod Organizer for quite some time and this is what it looks like. So I've been using Mod Organizer to mod my game and I had no problems with Mod Organizer whatsoever. I know people are scared using it, but I can actually re really recommend using it. So this is my mod organizer for my actual playthrough at the moment. As you can see, it's on my screenshots profile for a character of mine that I play. Um, it's got an awful lot of mods in here and I'm running, I'm currently running 162 uh, plugins in my Skyrim game at the moment. The cap is 255. I still got a little leeway, but uh, that's what I want to have in game and I'm completely fine with everything. I hardly experience any crashes to desktop. I just crash on one point and I know it's a, a papyrus script overload. So I know what to look, look out for and how to get it um, stable anyway. So this is my list and um, I want to talk you through some problems that can occur, uh, some causes for problems that you can rule out one by one. Okay, first thing on uh, on the list is wrongly installed mods. So when you download a mod, you want to check that you have all the requirements needed for the mod and that the mod is really correctly installed. For example, when you use something that connects to a skeleton, do you have the right skeleton installed? Do you have all requirements installed for that skeleton? So you have to go and look through everything to make sure that, uh, that you have it running and it runs correctly. If you have installed an animation mod, you generate that FNIS. So that's the things you want to know and do when you install a mod and want to do. So my I actually have a routine once I installed a mod. I run FNIS. Even if the mod didn't include an animation, just in case something got mixed up, um, it doesn't take too long and I am making sure that I don't forget it. So if I have an animation in the mod and I didn't know, it's taken care of fine. Second on the list is conflicts due to mod order. So you have two mod orders in um, mod organizers, so to say. You have your load order here in the right plane of your, uh, of my screen right now and we have the mod the install mod list so you have two things that you want to look at so first of course load order that's where most of it can be fixed really really easy and that's by r simply running loot it doesn't take care of all the problems and loot itself can make mistakes so loot is not a perfect program, but if you have mods and you're not too sure where what goes, you can use loot to have it organized pretty easy and pretty fast. So what you're going to do is when you have loot installed, like I do, and if you followed along my previous videos, then you have it installed already. You know, you're getting it and you click on run. Then it pops up. Just takes a moment. It's passing the metadata, checking everything, and then you get your load order. And what you can do is you just click on sort. It sorts your plugins. I'm going to do that now since I know that it does a pretty good job with the mods that I have at the moment. So it's just updating the list, checking through if there's changes needed, and it does a pretty good job there. So it updated the list. You can see what the changes are and usually it should look pretty well. What is very nice about loot is that you get warning infos, just like here, rectal, uh, realistic rectal force. You get the info that you need to check, change the skeleton if, if it should conf uh, conflict with other mods. So there are some stuff here that you can look through. 
it usually says if there is something you might want to check out or if you need to have something removed so it's a, it's a really neat tool i really suggest you use it instead of the built-in mod organizer sorter just because you don't get the infos here so you're got, just going to click apply and go back to mod organizer and it did the sorting that's one thing you can get out of the way and a second is here in the overview uh, in the mod overview panel here um you can go through two so mod organizer is a pretty neat tool so as you can see it uh, found a potential mod order problem that's really neat about mod organizer that it does that so you can use this it's a better tool but it's all right so it changes around something enhanced skyrim factions was above moonlight tales and that didn't work too well so it just changed the pri priorities meaning that enhanced skyrim factions will come lower in priority and will be um, loaded after moonlight tales which fixes some potential problems so it's a pretty neat tool you can use that as well if you get a warning go for it check it out and let it fi you know, fix itself if you have something else um you notice the errors here those are pretty nice as well so you click on click on those and when you open up the conflicts tab it actually tells you with which mod or which mod it's overwriting so you see here it's the apache divine elegance store patch and of course it overrides stuff from the divine elegance store so you can see exactly what's it overwriting with. Let's look for another one. Immersive Armors. Immersive Armors overrides several of the textures coming from both my texture mod Noble Skyrim as well as a Midian Born that I both use. So you can actually find out which texture is overwriting and you can actually delete files within Immersive Armors that you don't want to overwrite other mods. So what it does also, it shows you what's been overwritten by and what's exactly overwritten by. So we see we have, uh, I uh, also have the CBBE refit since I'm using CBBE for my females. And it overrides, of course, the female meshes. And you can see it right here that it does overwrite the NIF files. And you can find out with, uh, what overrides what. So um, Mod Organizer is a neat tool to find out those little problems and you can solve them just by clicking and looking for them one thing loot can't do and mod organizer can't do is that there are sometimes files that need to be in a different place than what mod organizer or loot sorts them in so some have it on a mod page that if you have these kind of mods it should go below or further up than others what you want to do is you want to again read the mod page look for those mods if you have them make sure uh, if you have conflicting mods that are written on the mod page you really want to put them there where they should because sometimes loot can't fix those problems or loot sorts them wrong so you just go in you pick them up you move them wherever you need them to be on the topic of mods there's one last thing that you might want to check out and that is go through your load order and compare your load order to the dangerous and unstable master list over at reddit i'm showing you the site right now and i will link it down below so this is a list with unstable and outdated mods it's a really good list so it says why you shouldn't be using the unstable mods or why it's uh, why these mods are unstable and dangerous and it explains you what changes you ha you can do to make these work. There is a list of dangerous and game-breaking mods that you might want to check out. If you have these patches or th this inside your game, you want to go through it and delete them and go for the better options that are on this mod. mod. There are some unstable ones and I'm going to show you one thing that I had in my game that helped me get a better results and help me with some stuff. So when you go through, so I have been using AFT for my followers, but I had noticed that with some custom followers, you might get some problems. So they randomly unfollow you and stuff like that. What I did, I was 
I was checking the site out and I saw, okay, AFT is not as stable. There's a stable option, immersive, amazing follow it tweaks. I've switched over to using this. And since then I don't have problems with my follower uh, randomly unfollowing me and stuff. So it helped me um, fix a problem that I didn't know what, uh, what was causing it. So you might want to check out the site, go through it, go for the stable versions that are recommended on the site to get a much better experience within, within your game with less problems that you might e not even notice that you had. And now on to the next thing you might encounter is something that you might not think of and that's unclean master files. I talked to you about how loot actually shows you which, uh, which mods and stuff need some extra attention. And if you have unclean master files, loot will tell you so. So I'm opening up loot again so I can show you what I mean. Just to sh for your information, Bethesda has some files in their files that they didn't delete before publishing the game. So there are some edits in there that are not really necessary, that are just left in because no one uh, wanted to do the cleaning job. What you can do is to clean them yourselves. I'll link a, a video that uh, Goffer did about cleaning your master files down below and I think uh, and I'll have it up on the screen right now too. I recommend you go check it out, clean your files. You get a re uh, red warning here saying dirty edits. And actually you can find it here. So dirty plugins will be a number that pops up when you have dirty plugins. Because not just Bethesda can be lazy, creators sometimes forget to clean their mods too. So what you can do is go and clean their mods for them. Again, I would highly recommend you go watch the video by Goffer. It goes into detail. It tells you what to do and Goffer knows these things because he's modding them themselves. On to the next thing and that would be stability mods. There are some mods that help your game to be more stable. One of them is here is the memory blocks lock. So Skyrim script extender makes Skyrim able to use more memory but sometimes even that uh, is not enough so you want to have an enough memories so that your game runs smoothly and that comes where memory blocks lock comes in handy i have a video um it's pretty in-depth about that from gamer poet i recommend you check it out basically it just helps your game to allocate as much memory as it needs of course within limits and fixes some endless loading screen problems and some crash to desktop problems as well. Second one I would recommend is this one, Crash Fixes. A neat little mod that helps your game to be a little bit more stable. I've been using it for yeah, at least two years now. I have had no problems with it and my, and my game runs much more smoothly since I've been using it. Again, I would recommend you go check out the mod page link is down in the description box and read through the page for yourselves. It might get you some tips that you might want to implement. Once you've got your mod all out of the way, yeah, you can uh, check something else. If you don't use an ENB, I re recommend you actually s uh, still use the EN uh, just the ENB file and uh, get ENB boost. ENB boost is a way it again um, to help your game use the memory it needs to run smoothly uh, and to use up the memory uh, the memory on your graphic card properly so if you're using an enb already you might want uh, you might already have that just uh, check out your enb page usually you get enb boost with pretty much yeah, any ENB you're using. I'm using real vision and real vision includes the enb boost in its any file so it's already in there once you've got that out of the way there might be some any settings that you have messed up there's a wonderful video from gamer poet uh, i will link that down below where he talks about gaming settings so the settings that pretty much everyone can do to help stabilize game and to make some changes i would recommend you watch it he goes into detail i think it's a very very good video and it helped me set up my innies as well 
So once that's out of the way and you're still experiencing problems, what's left to do? There's one last thing that you might try if, if you have ruled out that you have the wrong load or, or there's something else. You might want to check into Rybash. Rybash is a mod and a tool that helps you get a more stable game by creating a bashed patch. So I'm firing up Rybash so you can see what I mean. So that's my load order with Rybash and I see I actually need to rebuild the patch. So what it does is it basically it tells you where some mods might act up but those are orange and if you have red lines that means you have something that's definitely incompatible with one another so you get an error message. When I look through here everything looks fine though and then I get on to rebuild a patch or create a patch. So if it's the first time for you to open up Rybash, then you, you have the option to create a patch. Since I already have a patch, I just right click on the patch and say rebuild patch. And now you get a number of patches that you can actually merge into your patch, meaning you save plugins. Skip those for now since I'm not sure whether I want to merge those into just yet, since I might change around something. Creating the patch creates some time, so just wait for it to be fully loaded. Might take a minute or two. So once the bashed patch is ready, you get this nice little overview that it's done. So you can click OK here and now bashed patch is green. You click OK and you go back to the mod organizer and you got the new bashed patch um, already for you meaning so it creates a practically creates a patch for those mods that you have installed and makes it all play along nicely so that's what you want to do when you have crashes to desktop and you don't know what and you want to stabilize the game that's the steps that you want to look into and in the next video, I tell you, I talk you through a problem that I have had and dealt with using Mod Organizer and the other stuff. So if that's uh, of interest to you, since you have a problem and you can't seem to find out what, then I suggest you stay tuned and watch the next video. Bye bye. See you next time.